time of year is kitten season, when cats breed, numbers increase and life becomes even harder. Life on the street is hard, particularly if you're furry, four-legged and alone. There are thousands of stray cats in Auckland, but one man is trying to make a difference. Peter Dorman is the father Teresa of the feline world. And I don't like to see the suffering, and the suffering really does go on out there. They do not survive at all well in the wild. Dorman has founded the Lonely Meow Association, a group devoted to improving life for the city's strays. He seeks out colonies of cats, befriending them with food. Then, one by one, he removes them, has them desexed, and finds new homes. But not all the stories have happy endings. Some may be too sick or too wild to adopt out. Those ones have to be put down. Upset, generally, but relieved that the, that the suffering has ended and that there's not going to be any more suffering. That's the, the end of the story for them. These strays have been lucky so far. They've been looked after by a group of university students. But with holidays about to begin, their prospects are grim, particularly as one is wild. I'm scared that she'll be put down because of that. Um, and I'm scared that the other two won't get a home because they're adults and usually people want kittens. A family has already been found for one of these cats, but that still leaves nearly 50 strays under Dorman's care, at his home and on the streets. It's expensive care, costing nearly $200 a week, but it's something he won't give up. This is Jenny Williams for Nightline. Great cats too. Don't go away because next we'll let you know what sort of weather...